Hello, uh, today we're gonna discuss about what is Kumoshi. Kumoshi is composed by uh, Kumo, that means spider, and Si, that means silk. Then it's the silk of a spider web. Uh, this was a method employed in addition or, uh, or as a complement of what is uh, the classical Kumobito and uh, Onigumo. If you remember from past videos that the Kumobito and Onigumo were techniques, were uh, methods developed by Sisen uh, for uh, defending in situation of close quarter combat that they need to perform a submission but also breaking with a very violent method. The addition of Kumoshi is employing also ropes that they will be hiding uh, most of times inside of the shode, inside of the sleeve of the, of the clothes and the others uh, will be in the hand or it will be in the wrist as a way to, uh, to hide from the enemy. Uh, the most of these techniques, mainly Onigumo and also uh, this Kumoshi were performed in, uh, in night situations as a way that when they are performing uh, close combat they will be uh, doing a very hard knot that will, uh, will allow them to hang the enemy and, uh, and surprise all the enemies because they don't know what has happened with this. Then the key here will be the following. For example, I will perform, and as I, I will try to explain, with a, a classical attack and a classical defense of uh, Kumobito or Onigumo, uh, what will happen here? Then, for example, when we are having, for example, an attack, for example, it's attacking on Mako, we have this, and I could pass, to that situation. From here, I will have this, and this allows me to have control on the hand and have control on both the knee and the hand at the same time. Okay? Another detail before I start in the technique, explaining the technique it's that they used to employ uh, more or less uh, like this uh, loop here because these were called sogesa. Soge means on the Sisen uh, dialect means uh, uh, the neck and this, uh, and this ga means uh, from, uh, from to, to be big spiritually. Then it's the most big spiritually because they used to employ this technique as a way to choke the enemy maybe when they were hidden on the ground and one uh, knight is coming uh, on, the, on, the, on the horse and they used to jump and from this were known to come here and, uh, and perform a choke in the ground when they have here they have here choke until until he lost the conscience and after that they perform the, the technique. These were known this loop as sogesa. So we that sorry. After starting from the classical humoshi, it's very important to to notice about a uh, uh, Kumoshi needs to be performed like Onigumo with a very fast movement. Five seconds is a lot of time. Then we couldn't, couldn't uh, be uh, fighting trying to perform the knot. It's something that needs to be very fluent and the enemy needs to be surprised how he could become uh, knocked out on this circumstance. Then, Starting from this point, for example, if she tries, Rebecca, since they come here, they used to employ, uh, they used to be trained how to defend in a very fast uh, movement, having this control here on the wrist. And from here, we have control going to the ground. After this, we have conditions to, sorry, come here. 
and we could go to the head here. And this is a very, this is completely, this is uh, with a joint knot on the knee. We have control on this, on this wrist. And after that, what we could do is to pass to control this other, this other uh, arm here. And from here, we could perform a classical entering here and having control on a typical Yuji Gatame here. From here, we could control in a Sankaku for passing here and joining the both wrists here. For example, like that. And we will have both here on the control and passing to this point. After that, we could make her go to the ground and having control on the other side, because from here, if we are now with a quiet, we could break here, and of course, we could hang in the air, and it would be a very a hard, a very tough uh, technique and uh, a way to, in a very uh, quick uh, movement, to control the enemy. It's important that this needs to be restrained, the knee, the both wrists here, and also the other ankle, and also the neck. We could see like it's this uh, spider web that we will introduce in because in quick movements we have performed uh, several knots in several limbs of the body. In this case we have a control, the right leg with the right wrist, after that in the neck, left wrist, and at the end the other, the other ankle here. Then this is one of the possibilities because they were trained in very, very uh, fast movements, very powerful techniques to perform this kind of style. Then, I hope that you have enjoyed. Thank you very much and see you on next videos.